Jay Sankey, we all know him, we all love him, we all use him in our kitchens to clean our countertops and our floors. His magic erasers are tremendous for picking out sharpie stains and crayons from walls. Whoops, I seem to have gotten him mixed up with Mr. Clean. Well, I don't know if you've been paying attention lately, but Mr. Clean's gone up through a little bit of a resurgence in terms of his looks and looks like a, a poppy. On today's video, I'm gonna talk about why why I hate Jay Sankey. Now, approximately 21 years ago, I convinced my mother to buy me Airtight by Jay Sankey. I saw a demo video on penguinmagic.com of Oz Perlman slamming a deck of cards through an ordinary balloon and I had to have it. Now, when I received the trick, I was immediately disappointed because the uh, balloons were very hard to stretch and because of the methodology involved, it involved quite a bit of strength for uh, at the time was a middle school piggy. And yes, even in middle school, your boy was out here slamming. Your boy was out here dunking donuts, if you know what I mean. I was out here getting girls pregnant, but alas, the stretching of the balloon was very aggravating, but it got me to learn a very valuable lesson. If you can't handle the heat, then stay out the kitchen, dog. And also it introduced me to the mind of Jay Sankey. Nobody, nobody in their right mind would have ever come up with this unless they were Jay Sankey. Nobody who at any point in time looks at a balloon and a deck of playing cards and goes, I'm gonna put those two things together. And that's why I hate Jay Sankey, my friends, because he is that damn creative. And I wish that he could release to the world what brand of drugs he consumes in order to have his mind just go off in the places that it does. Is it that he's Canadian? Because all my life I've only been taught that the only good thing out of Canada is Celine Dion. So recently Jay Sankey put out a product known as Switch Clip and Dapper D from my Discord, shout out to him, had it sent out to me directly from Sankey Magic. Thank you Dapper D, if you were in front of me, I would do disgusting, gross, and um, otherwise negligent things to your bum. But he sent me a product that Jay Sankey has recently come up with known as Switch Clip. Now this is an interesting little device because it allows the user to switch objects directly under the spectator's noses. All you're doing is you're putting an object in a paper clip and in gesturing or maybe transferring to the other hand, you've switched it relatively sleight of hand free. And this is why I hate Jay Sankey, my friends, because it's an idea that no doubt you could have easily have thought of, but you didn't. The moment I saw the gimmick, I realized, why didn't I think of this? It's the easiest thing to do. And because of that, I know that a lot of people are gonna give it bad reviews. It's not complicated. It doesn't have moving parts. It's literally um, something that is uh, put together with something else. That's it, that's all it is. And because of that, I hate Jay Sankey. Now I hate him for good reasons. I hate him because I see the possibilities with this gimmick and I hate that I didn't come up with it previously to rack in those sweet, sweet magic dollars. And because of that, I know, I know that people in the Magic Cafe are probably gonna give it a bad review because of what it is, because of how it's put together. But I see past that. I see past that and see the possibilities of what you could do with this bad boy. That's it. That's the gimmick right there, my friends, or at least a portion of it. But this is what allows you to switch things in play with other things without necessarily resorting to very complicated sleight of hand. It's a very well-made gimmick. Uh, yes, the way it's put together might turn some people off. But that's not the point. The point is the effect and the ease of the user to get to the effect. Now I'll tell you what it's not my friends, this is not paper clipped. This is not his original paper clipped idea where a card is shown to be in a paper clip and then removed and then that card is unfolded and revealed to be a participant's card or it could be a dollar bill. This is not paper clipped. Paper clipped allows for a real time switch, meaning that you are getting the object that's gonna be loaded into the paper clip in real time. So you're folding the object up, spoiler, or that card is being loaded in real time. So you're removing the card from the paper clip and that happens in real time. Now the switch clip is not real time. It's not real time. You're gonna have to have it prepared in advance. So whatever object you're gonna switch, it has to go into one part of the gimmick. Then the other one that's to be switched is uh, folded by the spectator or folded by yourself, placed on the actual paper clip itself. And in a very natural action, it's switched. Again, relatively free of sleight of hand. And I think this is the perfect example of the mind of Jay Sank at work. Why? Because this man is thinking about paper clips. Who in the right mind is looking at paper clips and going, yeah, 
yeah, I'm going to do some stuff with that. You have to be completely out of your mind in order to be thinking about paper clips the way Jay Stanky does. The switch clip doesn't use sleight of hand relatively. Yes, you are going to have to maneuver that actual clip in some capacity, but it's not hard. I did it right now, just like that. I could do it here like this. I could do it in many different ways that doesn't require a lot of effort or a lot of sleight of hand, really, especially compared to a more complex trick like paper clipped. Now, because of the nature of the gimmick and the way it's made, there are some limitations. There are going to be some limitations and you are going to have to give up an entire hand in order to actually hold the object in the paper clip. So what that means is that you can't place it down because then, you know, you're going to show what the gimmick is. So you're going to have to hold it in your hand, but it's being held there temporarily. And the paper clip makes sense. If you're going to burn it, for example, you don't want to burn it by holding it. That would make you a retard. You're going to put it on something like a paper clip and then burn it. So just think about that before you decide to pick up one of these bad boys that when the switch clip is in play, your entire hand is devoted to it. Now, the advantages are that there's no sleight of hand relatively. Again, there is a little bit of sleight of hand, but it's not hard. It's easy. You could do it in the offbeat. You could do it while asking for something else. It doesn't require a lot of movement and a lot of beginners would be definitely very attracted to that particular aspect of it because it's going to eliminate this, the shakes, because the gimmick does the work for you. Now, I don't see it as a switch clip. I see it as a way of having multiple outs. So imagine if I have a folded up playing card on this and maybe a folded up playing card elsewhere, that means that I only have two cards in play. If those are misindexed cards, then that would be up to four outs that I could have directly in the face of the disgusting spectator. So I could hold a clip with one card the entire time, go through whatever process I want and take the card out of the clip unfold it and it's going to be right each and every single time again to the spectator it seems like one card is in play the entire time it doesn't go in a in an envelope it doesn't go in a card box it doesn't come out of anything it's there the entire time and to me i think that's worth the value of the clip itself now that is the interesting part about jay sankey you see him working on old things and making them new again so somebody might look at this and think oh it's just uh, paper clipped it's just paper clipped it's not it's much more than paper clipped but at the same time it does have its limitations but it shows you that the mind is always working and that's a little bit motivational because it makes you want to look at your old stuff it makes you want to look at uh things that maybe you were proud of before and seeing new ways to rework it and uh, i think the switch clip is a great example of that. Also, I don't know if this was Dapper D or uh, whoever was packaging this at uh, the Sankey headquarters, but uh, thank you. I appreciate any sort of uh, crudely drawn image of a pig that will no doubt infest my nightmares for years to come. So that's the trick. That's why I hate Jay Sankey. That is why uh, I want to find him and, and give him a nice little bit of a, of a Goldberg spear through a table set up precariously in a corner. Uh, preferably in some sort of wrestling ring. I hate him for that reason, but I think that it's a good reason to hate someone. Very motivational, very inspirational, makes me want to work on my stuff, makes me want to go through my archives of tricks and uh, rework them and improve them. But apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Jay Sankey, if you're watching this, I want to rub your head. I'll let you figure out which one I want to rub. Uh, but apart from that, thank you guys, man. You guys watch these videos. You guys like them. You guys do all the things that people do when it comes to videos to trick YouTube into thinking that, uh, well, this channel is actually meaningful. And uh, I appreciate that. Uh, me, I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go uh, rinse, rinse my mouth. I'm going to do that. Um, I went grocery shopping yesterday. It's fun. It's always a good thing. I've realized the best times to go grocery shopping are uh, Sunday nights when they're going to close, maybe like two hours before they close, or I would say maybe Tuesday afternoons. Uh, now, typically on Sunday nights, you're actually going to find quite a lot of what I refer to as uh, shoddies. Uh, by shoddies, I mean the thick ones. You know what I'm talking about? You have a snack section and then you got the snack section and the snacks really come out uh, on Sundays. And, um, you know, could I go up to him and ask him, hey, what uh, flavor of Doritos should I get? <laughs> you let me know. I see you eat a lot of Doritos because of your dump truck. Because of that dump truck. So I want to know what Doritos are going to get me in that dump truck. 
with consent. 